Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about Cloud PKI, Intune Cloud PKI. What is Intune Cloud PKI? What is managed PKI service in Intune? How is that going to help you to remove some of the on-prem components? All these details we are going to check out, and you can see some demos as well. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Microsoft is also coming up with cloud PKI solution along with Intune. In Intune portal, you would be able to see cloud PKI services. It is also a SaaS service provided by Microsoft on top of Intune. You know, PKI infra, on-prem infra is very tedious to manage, very, very time consuming, very complex. And that is why Microsoft is coming up with a cloud PKI solution where you can deploy all these SCEP certificates, et cetera, et cetera, without using any end servers. Once Microsoft releases this version in February 2024, you would be able able to remove your lot of your infrastructure maybe end the servers and then connectors azure ad app proxy connectors etc etc and use this particular service as you can see over here and you can remove the customer pki or infrastructure over here you can use these skip certificates for a lot of scenarios actually for your wi-fi for your vpn and some other applications etc we'll see that in the demo later a bit later now let's go to the next slide so this is the extract of what does the cloud pki solution intune cloud pki solution overview features and version one all these are version one features so there are a lot of exciting new features coming in the later versions of cloud pki as you can see the certificate revocation options are there monitoring options are there and then you can create root ca issuing ca certificates from this cloud pki in intune and that is going to going to be very helpful normally pki infra servers infrastructure on-prem it is going to take months probably you might need to order servers and then then configuration itself is going to take maybe two weeks etc etc because it is so complex but creating root ca issuing ca in intune cloud pki is going to take maybe five minutes so that is what we are going to see in the next slide so this is the slide where you can see over here we are in tenant admin part of intune portal we are in tenant admin part of intune portal that is where the cloud pki workflow will be and over here if you can search for cloud pki somewhere here let's see that managed pki is the name at the moment but it is going to change to cloud pki soon i think this is also going to get released in february 2024 we are in cloud pki PKI page and you can see a create button over there and if you click on create you can see the basic workflow options name and description of that certificate authority and then you can see it is creating a issuing ca ca type you have two options in the drop down root ca issuing ca we have already created a root ca so that we are going to create a issuing ca now and then you need to have a connection right of course for issuing ca you need to have a root ca so that is why you are selecting a root ca over here it is pretty easy and if you have seen the on-prem pki console mmc console etc it is very tedious process huh? at least for me but this is very very helpful over here the validity period is also mandatory thing and if you have set 10 years for root ca as a validity then for issuing ca best option is to give five years as the lifetime or validity period five years we have selected and then you need to enter all these metadata like common name organization name etc and the encryption is very important over here you have encryption drop down options available here we can see that in a minute and we have selected the encryption option as you can see over here rsa 4096 that is what we have selected and then creating a policy it is very quick as you can see so root ca is already there and the issuing ca certificate is creating and we are already in issuing ca certificate 
settings option as you can see skip uri so this is the important setting which you need for configuring the skip profiles in intune if you want to deploy skip profiles for your uh, wi-fi profile vpn etc this is what we need so we are copying that skip uri and we are going to edit the existing skip profile over here and change the skip uri that is the process which we need to follow when we implement cloud pki solution as you can see skip server url that is what we are going to provide over here we copied from that cloud pki issuing ca certificate properties that is very interesting and very very easy normally it is very difficult to create a skip profile and we need to coordinate with a lot of people from the pki team and pki team must be busy normally and they won't respond to intune admins etc etc so there are a lot of political issues as well over there but with this cloud pki intune team is having more power i would say if you can go to to root ca and then you can see certificate revocation options are there if you click on that expiration you can check over here when is going to expire and a key size and algorithm all these things are there and revoke option is there if you want to revoke some certificate etc so all these are within the intune portal that is very exciting thank you all for watching see you around take care bye bye